Hi, welcome back to our channel. Please like and subscribe for more classic TV and music content and please follow us on Twitter, Instagram and all our socials to interact with us. All links will be in the description below. Thanks and enjoy the video. Life is a game in a game and I want to play the game with you. Everybody, it's nice to see ya. To see ya. Nice. Thank you. And today, our first contestants of the Generation Game are Anthea Brigabond Love. Right now, stand on the box. On the box, that's it. Now, uh, what's their names, Anthea? Well, Bruce, this is Mr. Blundell, and this is Mrs. Quirk. And they are mother in law and son in law. Mother in law and son in law. Right, great. Go on, Anthea, give us a twelve, love. Get off. Right now, uh, your name is, uh Mr. Bundle. Your first name? John. John. And your name is? Mrs. Crook. Your first name? Pauline. Pauline. Okay, so it's John and Pauline. Right, uh, but have you got any hobbies? I like knitting and horse riding. Knitting and horse? Oh, I'll make a note of that. Hang on. <laughs> Dropped on head when baby. <laughs> Only a joke. And uh, knitting. Uh, I knitted him there. Oh, you knitted him there? You tell, love. What do you mean, yeah? Why wool? <laughs> Why wool? <laughs> I'm only joking. Now, uh, wait, what hobbies have you got? What? Uh, I do impressions. You do impressions? Yes, it says here. Ask me to do an impression. <laughs> All right, then, go on, do an impression. No. All right, then, it doesn't matter. No, do one. <laughs> you you want to do one? Yeah. Okay, then. You want to see an impression? Want to see an impression? Yeah. Right, right, right. Go on, then. Away you go. Away you go. Okay, mister. I'm not fooling about this time. <laughs> you eat green. Wasn't that good? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, it's nice to be on the show. John Wayne, oh, he's good, isn't he? Thank you very much. Oh, right, 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 that's enough. Oh, that's that one's girls and girls. No, no, we don't want no more, do we? No I am Muhammad Ali. No, come the on, let's stop. Stop. The white Muhammad oh, Ali. No, the champion no. of the world. Please take that, but this was it all. Oh. Oh. Thank you, my love. It's nice to be on the show. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Nice, Ethan. Hey, look. Give us a curl. Curl. Hey, get up there. Get up there. Oh, on the show. Right. Everybody on the show. You must understand that what I am about to show you must never leave this room. Okay. Here he is. Steve Austin. My six million dollar man. Let me show you this, Professor. His legs. Bionic. Enables him to run up to 60 miles per hour. Made by our top surgeons in Texas. His arms, Professor, his bionic arms, capable of punching through six inches of steel, were made by our bionic surgeons down in Chicago. His eye, Professor. His bionic eye. Capable of acting like a zoom lens on a camera. Also enables him to see in the dark by use of infrared rays. Made by our gynecologists in Utah. And the powerhouse of it all. His heart. His heart. 
I left his heart in San Francisco. Excuse me, is this the right place? No. Oh, this is the cruise office, isn't it? That's what it says on the door, isn't it? Oh, so you must be the cruise officer, the one who's supposed to advise us. That's right, that's right. Mm. Yeah, this is the right place, then. I'm supposed to come and see you. Yeah, but you see, you're too small. The helmet would fall over your... it would fall over your eyes. Helmet? What helmet? The policeman's helmet. I haven't got a policeman's helmet. I know you haven't got a policeman's helmet. <laughs> well, you need a policeman's helmet if you're going to be in the police force. I don't want to go in the police force. Well, that's perhaps as well because you're too small. I know. You see, in the army, you'd be no good in the army. Uh, the, the rifles, you'd, they'd drag you down, you'd fall out in the tanks, you couldn't see over the top. You know, you see, why have you come in here wasting my time? Why are you wasting your time? I've, I don't want to be a policeman, I don't want to be in the army, I just want to get a good job. Well, what job? Well, I mean, what, I didn't mean, That's what, what I come here for, advice, advise me. Well, the, the police and the army, there aren't any other jobs, oh, are there? Of course there are. There's plenty of other jobs. There's plenty of other. Are there really? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Good heaven. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm learning every day. Listen, what, what, do you, what do you want to do then? Oh, I'd like to be a drummer in a pop group. A drummer in a pop group? Yeah. Have you got any qualifications? I mean, what, what qualifications have you got? Oh, I can play the drums. <laughs> no, I mean, have you got any CGEs or FBIs or anything? No, no. You haven't got any. You yeah, see, sorry, these yeah. days you need a. You must have pieces of paper. Well, it's no good, you see. It's no good, I'm sorry. Oh, I'd like to be just a drummer. Just a drummer. A drummer? Yeah. Just a drummer. You see, a, a drummer boy. Now, you see, in the army, you could oh, be a drummer boy no, in the army. Not the army. You see, in the police, they have police bands. Not police you could be, Listen, I've just offered you two. Of I've just offered you two, and you've refused them. But look, don't. Get out, because it's a spy grocery. You see what they're in there. Don't bother me no, now. I can't be bothered with all that. You're coming in there. Screaming Lord Such, pop singer and sometimes political campaigner who led his go to blazes party to defeat in the general election, has been fined £35 for dropping litter. The rubbish in question were his election leaflets. We already knew election leaflets were a load of old rubbish anyway. <laughs> your drums round your neck. <laughs> well, Professor, he's nearly ready for his demonstration. But there's only one thing I left out. His brain. <laughs> he acts rather strange, but he still will function. So, go with me, will you? Okay, ready? happens, <laughs> girls and girls. Oswald. <laughs>
don't do it to me every week. I won't leave. Oi, Paul, Paul, stay in here a minute. It's all right, it's been raining. Go, Walter. Just stay in here, just no, stay in here. Don't go, Walter, I shall ever go. Go. Well, you could just stay in here, it wouldn't do you no harm, would it? <laughs> <laughs> A motorist charged with driving with a forged tax disc that was also out of date apologised to police saying that he had forgotten to forge himself a new one. Hello, welcome again to the Generation Game and it's in this part of the programme where the contestants participate and be like the professionals. And uh, if you bring on their contestants, right, stand on the box, that's it. Right, what's his name, Anthony? Oh, please yourself, love. <laughs> I'm only joking. Uh, and your name is uh, Mike. Mike, yeah, Mike. Mike yeah. You look like a mobile lemon, dear. <laughs> right, now, I want you to watch this, because this is what you'll be doing in a minute, OK? Right, OK. Okay. Yeah, okay. OK, take it away, Bill. Now, I want you to watch the pirouette, pirouette. <laughs> now, look at the grace, the grace. <laughs> He's going to have another try. <laughs> now, did you note the grace? Yeah. Right. Right, did they do well? Come on, give a nice round of applause. OK, now, I want you to go off over there. Go on, off over there. And I want you... Uh, what's your name? Rudolph. Rudolph Nickersophodon. OK, uh, now I want you to mark it, all right? Certainly. And are you all right? You... You're all right? <laughs> all right. Now, uh, take it away, Bill. <laughs> Didn't he do well? On with a demonstration. There's bionic legs. Sure, Steve. <laughs> oh, good. John, John, yeah? stay in here, mate. Just stay in here, please. What, here? Yeah. You then? What's up? Oh no. They hit me all the time, they won't leave me. And now an item of interest for fathers and older boys. There is a new edition of Playboy available in Braille. No doubt for all those naughty boys who did not heed their mother's warning. Leave it alone or it will make you blind. Let me out, Professor, with that six inches of steel. Right, Steve. Okay, Steve, show her your arms. Thanks. That's another bill I have to pay. Isn't he strong? Isn't he masculine? A dream come true for womankind. What do you want me to do next, Oscar? To the drawing board. I must have went for another muscle. Come on, Jim. Quick, quick. Come here. Stand here. Stand there. That's it. Just a minute. I'm just going to go and get my book. I'm coming. Just stand here. Just stand here. I am sorry, sir. You know I am? I'm the six million dollar man. Kwai Cheng King. Hold on. I'm bionic. I am sorry to hear that, sir. <laughs> no. I got bionic legs, an arm, and a bionic eye. Hold on. More people watch the six million Madala man than they do Kung Fu. Agreed. And I'm gonna fight you. Bionic arm! 
my bionic leg! You've broke my bionic leg! Oh, my other bionic leg! My left... No, not my eye! Oh, my, my bionic eye! Anybody know a bionic repair man? Once again, it's the turn of our younger viewers, and we haven't forgotten you again this week. We've got another poem for you from Christopher Robin, and this week we've got a sweet little girl, Kate, is going to read the poem for you. Kate? It's funny how often they say to me, Well, have you been a good girl, Jane? Have you been a good girl? And when they've said it, they say it again. Have you been a good girl, Jane? Have you been a good girl? I go to a party, I go out to tea, I go to an aunt's for a week at the sea, I come back from school, or from playing a game. Wherever I come from, it's always the same. Well, have you been a good girl, Jane? Have you been a good girl? It's always the end of the loveliest day. I went to the zoo, and they waited to say, Have you been a good girl, Jane? Have you been a good girl? <laughs> well, what did they think that I went there to do? And why should I want to be bad at the zoo? And should I be likely to say if I had? And that's why it's funny of Mummy and Dad this asking and asking in case I was bad. Well, have you been a good girl, Jane?
Oh, it's rubbish, isn't it? Yeah. Sort of makes me feel like wanting to keep the setting. Why not? <laughs>